Okay, we got something new and exciting today. It's by Unimax. I think I'm saying it right. It's a Glock 19 BB pistol. It's one of the first that was ever licensed through Glock. And there's a hefty amount of weight to it. I haven't opened it up yet. It's still, they got really sealed. The ones I've seen on uh, some of the other YouTube channels, they come in a cardboard box. For whatever reason, this one came in this shell here. So, I'm telling you what, let me turn it off because there'll probably be a little cussing going on trying to open this. And I'll come back after I get it out of the box. Got it out of its package. Man, it really looks like the Glock 19. Even too has the, the Glock sights on it, which I like. A lot of people don't like the sights. I got steel ones on my other Glocks. They're not the plastic ones, but they got them in here. It, it looks like they're molded into it. You can't change them or anything and stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, as far as its size, here's my Glock 19. It has some stuff done to it as a magwell and some other stuff, but when you hold them side by side, they look almost identical. I mean, it's it's pretty close. It's a copy of the 19. There it is. One behind it. I don't know if we can hold them both up like this or not and show them. They're, they're very similar size and everything. The, 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 the BB gun one or the air gun one is a little bit bigger. I try putting it in some Glock holsters. Like this one, this is an Attack Pro, and it, it won't fit. But <clears throat> the other little Glock 19 fits in there and snaps in place. I mean, it's cool. That one works. Same way, too, with this Bianchi one. Oh, I'm sorry, this, this is a Blatex one. The regular Glock fits in it. Beautiful. <clears throat> Same thing with it, it won't fit in. So, I had one laying around, tried it, and it's like the oversized Glock, you know, their Glock holster, but it's made for like the 45 and stuff, and it fitted in there. It fit pretty cool. I mean, I want something like that too, so I could draw, I'm not going to buy another holster for it. I got this one laying around, I'm just going to use this one in its place, probably do some drills with it and stuff, get a little trigger time in on it. It looks pretty cool, you know, and uh, I like it. Like I said, I've been wanting one when they first came out. I heard about it. I mean, I always thought they should be. I thought it was pretty cool. I got my SIG up there that I shoot on some other videos. I think it was a year or so ago. I mean, it's cool for shooting. I mean, it's babies. I'm pretty sure late, sooner or later they're going to bring out the pellet version of it, too. You know, maybe later on. Well, let me see what... Oh yeah, the magazine, they say it's 16 shot with BBs, steel BBs. They got the Glock logo on the back. It's Like I said, it's all licensed through Glock. It's, it's really nice. I mean, even to the grip on it has the nice texturing from Glock. It even says Glock there, has their little emblem there and everything. Even on this side here, it has all the Glock stuff. They got their markings all over the place, even on this side here. Glock 19, I mean, it's really cool, you know, and stuff. I, I, I think they did a good job doing it. I mean, the slide doesn't move back, so I mean, it's not a blowback. So, hopefully the seal 2s will last a little bit longer. I don't see why they wouldn't, you know. I'm going to have to test fire it and stuff. I mean, I just, like I said, I just took it out of the packaging for you. I hate those packages like that. You have to use a razor knife and everything and pull and tug and get everything out of it and stuff. Um, so when the magazine's out, I guess this comes off the back and that's where the, the CO2 cartridge goes in. And I got like a little Allen wrench back here that fits underneath here. And you can tighten it down when you put the CO2 in. And stuff they have it all the way down. I'll have to move it all the way back in order to get the CO2 in. It's like I said, let me go ahead and load it up. Maybe I might be able to shoot a few rounds out in the garage or something. 
see, I really don't even have a, a real good backstop for it. I'm just going to use a cardboard box for now and see. I'm probably going to leave it empty to see if it even goes through it on both sides. I'll, I'll use the box that it came in, that they shipped it to me in. All right. I'll be back. We're in the garage with the Glock. Officially licensed through Umex. Umex? Umex? BB gun. I got a target. It's five yards away, 15 feet. I want to shoot and I'm going to show it to you. Alright. It's one of those birch case ones. Well, you'll see. Let me see where I can hit. Beatings. Let's see, it's shooting a little high. We'll check it out. Let me see. It's a nice group. I think it's shooting a little bit high. Well, I'm going to load it up again and see what we could do. Cool. I went through a few magazines, quite a few already on the same CO2. It's shooting a little high. Let me see how this thing move lower and see if we get a better group to put down there. Here we go. Ran out of BBs. We'll check it out. It's still shooting a little high. Let me see. Turn it around. Yeah, it's still shooting a little high. Oh well, like I said, it's, it's great gun, a little practice, something to do when you can't get out to the range and stuff. Alright. Okay, and like always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And like always, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you like the video, hit like. And leave a comment too. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate you watching.